Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, in-laws and outlaws. Welcome back to Live from Stadium Drive for Maddie Day. I am Tommy Burns, and we are back with another edition post week one after a great game of victory against the Chicago Bears. And now we're going to look next into the Seattle Seahawks. Oh my God, dude, chill out, slow down. What the hell is going on? We said we were going to quit coffee the week of the Seattle game. I did. What the hell? What is with you, man? One doesn't need coffee when one has recovery water. Oh my God. I will throw this out there because I probably can't get caught on it. But if I, if I see a single Seahawks fan in an old Seahawks jersey, <laughs> Like, not a fucking neon green Seahawks uh, yeah, jersey. Seal, yeah, so like, many I will buy and... them a beer. I will buy them a beer. Like, give me, like, that fucking... That actually looks... That's not a newly made retro jersey, but Dude, looks like a legit totally, old... Totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. I swear to fucking God. Give me, like, Rick Myra or, like, just somebody. <laughs> like, I, I've, I've never... I've realized when I was there, not only because none of the other fans had on, like, anything but the brand new jerseys, but I don't think I've ever seen an old... Seahawks jersey in person. Not this like truly faded. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The, 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 the best bit I heard was uh, when you see a Seahawks fan um, and they tell you, oh yeah, I'm a Seahawks fan. You say, oh yeah, who'd you used to root for? Dude. Gling, oh my God. I like that. I like that a lot. Talking shit to Seahawks fans though, for real. And the response was, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> Normally you the kind of <laughs> circumstances that can happen, and they had they had a built-in com- you know, built-in I comeback. Was I mean, them you to bring up the NFC championship. You razz back, you'd be like, hey, how was blankety blank? Hey, how was last year's NFC championship game? And these guys were you really oh, man, hurt. They've you been really lot, hurt their feelings. They've been through a lot lately, yeah. alright, man? Yeah. We didn't have to do that. We didn't have to pile that on. <laughs> it's hard being a Seahawks fan. You'd kick his member down. Oh. Get the 13th man to pick you back up. It'll be all right. <laughs> oh, man. And tonight's coffee bit was even inspired by a fucking <laughs> coffee homemade man. jersey that said coffee man on the back. Like, god damn. Anyway, really looking forward. Uh, MS-DOS was your last great operating system. What? Oh! That's some, that's some hard software dissing, dude. <laughs> so we are very, very excited to welcome these fans to... Lambo, and uh, as Mike McCarthy's shirt will tell you, get loud, Lambo. Yes. Show them how it's done. And the, all that uh, shit. consistent campaign that they've brought about year to year, maybe to just kind of razzle everybody up. But uh, but yes, uh, it's first home game, night game, a Sunday night game, always wonderful, and it is home field advantage against truly because as you said, like this is one of those weeks where. Lips are so buttoned up because you know Nobody's we don't want to give billboard material, give any of this. It's a new team, different season, different whatever. But there have been some changes. I feel more so maybe on the Seahawks end. Yeah, uh, there's secondary. You got Earl Thomas is sort of banged up. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, think I almost said it like Obama. Earl Thomas. <laughs> Earl Thomas. Uh, got some folks banged up back there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got. Camp Chancellor is not playing. That's uh, that's not a good thing for Fire Seattle. Maxwell gone. Richard Sherman uh, opted not to have Tommy John surgery. And I was just kind of keeping an eye. And I kind of said this, Manny, maybe it was just my imagination, but I did not see what seemed to be using both arms all the time. I mean, that's, you know, that's a torn tendon in there. You not see. But this secondary is not at full strength compared no. to a year ago, succinctly put word o-line issues for seattle as well um but you know you look at you look at the weapons on offense you look at russ's legs and without a good o-line he's gonna be scrambling all over the place like a fucking dork and uh you've got marshawn who marshawn lynch against probably the best front uh defensive front in the nfl St. Louis had 73 yards. 
which, you know, Eddie gets 73 yards. We're kind of like, hey, man, good yeah, game. Good song. <laughs> good contribution, yeah. Let alone them, against, yeah. That is a cornerstone of their offense. Yeah. Carry and, uh, things for 30 seconds. I'll be right back. You were right about something that the audience will see in a moment. Oh. All right. So, let's see. The, uh, um, I never, never done this before. Um, Tommy. Oh. It was like I wasn't even there. Oh, uh, hey. And so, anyway, so. Uh, against the Bears, uh, uh, the Bears on the other hand, Matt Forte had like 140 yards rushing on the Packers. Fuck, dude! And now we've got Marshawn Lynch coming to town, and uh, that that is worrisome. Run support, we're getting some reinforcements. Dayton, not exactly like a run stuffing type dude, um, but Burnett practiced today. Morgan Burnett will be back in. Uh, assuming everything the some gains and some well. losses Baron Canal, Dayton, yeah, Burnett Barrington, hopefully back too. in so there's a change of that complexion as you kind of mentioned earlier uh, we had Forte and Bennett last week and we kind of faced an upgraded combo between with Lynch and Jimmy Graham newly acquired so it's kind of it is definitely a, a, a tougher test to, to see what uh, can go there both for Russell throwing and for uh, um for our defense because, you know, we wait to see what happens. And as we mentioned, Forte had some sure success. I mean, what? Dude, yeah. And they walked away with, what, 160 total rushing yards or something against us, roughly? Well, um, you throw in Jay's scrambles, it was, like, coming up on, like, 200. Wow. So. Yeah, and Jay Cutler had, like, 30 yards rushing. Yeah. So, yeah, man. And Russ is a more mobile quarterback than Jay. Jay's an underrated Scrambler, yes. But, uh, Athleticism wise, because he, yes, I, I will totally agree. As much as we loathe him, but uh, yeah, he does have that tendency. But it's such an interesting matchup. I mean, we are having our struggles in that area, but again, there's not Seattle, really a receiving core, yes. and that's it's yeah. In some ways, I mean, and if you if you're assuming that Russell Wilson is playing better quarterbacking than Jay Cutler is right now, um, even that's an upgrade. But yeah. Props to Matt Forte, but Lynch is more of a threat. Props to Martellus Bennett, but Jimmy Graham is probably more of a threat. Bennett had um, Bennett and Graham did roughly as well as each other, about 60 yards receiving and a touchdown each. Um, so, I mean, if we can hold, I figure if we can hold Jimmy Graham to that, obviously it was enough for the St. Louis Rams. I was going to say against a very solid uh, St. Louis Rams defense. Um, that was a gift, though, man. Love that. Uh, you know, there's a lot, lot to love about this game. Um, a nice little side effect would be getting an early two-game lead up on the Seattle Seahawks, yes. and uh, yes. you know, just and that head-to-head. And yeah, everything man, that goes with it. Absolutely, making it real tricky for them to to get a playoff game back there. Let's uh, let's 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 keep it keep it in Brown County, huh, Tom? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> think the Packers are going to win. Didn't you, didn't you predict the Packers wouldn't win like when the season for the schedule first came out? Didn't you chalk that one up? You fucking did. I swear it burns. Somebody looked that shit up. You gave them like 13 and three and that was one of your losses. That didn't happen. It was in a dark place. Uh, It was in a dark place. But you know, I mean, that's, you know, listen, yeah, Seahawks man. are good, okay? They're good football team. But, but the one thing I hate is that they're good is they can run the ball and they play defense. That was, that's a pretty solid formula. But yep. as things have progressed and you've seen what changed, perhaps mind, minds have changed. Politicians do it all the time. But I may have said that. <laughs> But it, it may have been said. But given as time does henceforth progress, <laughs> uh, maybe I had a little change of heart. A little change of heart, huh? Yeah. A little change of poo? A little All change right. of poo. Well, Burns, put a score on it. Okay.
27-20 Packers. I wouldn't be disappointed if that were the outcome. I'll say 34-30. The Green Bay Football Packers. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good Howard. Was Howard. <laughs> um, so we're, we're picking wins. What do you think? Hop on in the comments section to tell us how you feel. Below. Below. Tell the people about how you feel about Live from Stadium Drive. We, uh, we can formally announce OutsideSlant.com is up and running. Check that shit out. Check out the, the podcast on there. That's, that's good shit. Oh, you're going to... Cool. Cool, yeah. Huh. Yes, 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 yes. There it is. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so that's that's exciting, and so is Packers football back in Green Bay in a game that actually matters. Had a good preseason, but let's get real. And, and as I've said, I'll own that pick, but the amazing amount of stuff that has happened for all 32 teams over the course of this time and I mean, stuff you don't plan on, suspensions, Tom Brady was out, Tom Brady was in, but it felt increasingly better about... Uh, You're not talking... You, what does Tom Brady have to do with you picking the Seahawks to beat the Packers, Tom? Talking about how things change, okay? Gosh. Uh, Seasons change and so did I. <laughs> you need not wonder why. You need oh not wonder my why. Oh, God. No time left for us on Live from Stadium Drive. Is there Tommy? No. All right. For Tommy Burns, I'm Matty Day. For Matty Day, I'm Tommy Burns. I'm sorry, but oh. come on. I was just, oh, I was just like, dude, you can't. Oh. Live from Stadium Drive.